Okay, so we have this random point out here, x, y, and we need the distance from 0, 0 to that point plus the distance from 0, 4 to that point to always be 12, no matter where the point is. And we might recognize this as like, hmm, that sounds like it's going to be an ellipse. Like picture that's like a, um, like a string and you're just pulling the string taut and the string is 12 long and you just pull it around and it's going to make this ellipse shape. But we don't need to know that just to be able to translate it. So when we translate this, we're going to use our distance formula to find the distance from our point to 0, 0, and this, add that to the distance from our point to 0, 4, and that's supposed to be 12. So we just plug and chug stuff in. So x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared, and then plus the square root of x minus 0 squared plus y minus 4 squared, and that should equal 12. So we have the sum of the distances equaling 12. Now we'll just clean this guy up a bit. So this guy is uh, the square root of x squared plus y squared, and then this guy is x squared plus y squared minus 8y plus 16, equaling 12, just boiling that out, expanding that out. And I want to get rid of the square roots, and it's going to make things just a little bit nicer if I kick this thing over there, so I have 12 minus the square root of x squared minus y squared, because now when I square both sides, this guy, uh, the square and the square root cancel each other out, and I just get the inside. This one here does need to be foiled out. It needs to be squared so it's multiplied by itself. So I have uh, 144, and then minus 12 times the square root of x squared minus y squared, and then minus another 12 times the square root of x squared minus y squared, so this is 24, uh, these square roots, and then plus, and the square root uh, times the square root, those will be the square root of something squared, so they'll knock each other out, you just get x squared plus y squared there. So now we got rid of one of the square roots and we just have one left. So I'm going to try to get this guy alone uh, by knocking everything out. So if I subtract x squared from both sides, they go away. If I subtract y squared from both sides, they go away. If I, uh, let's see, so I have minus 8y and then 16 minus 144. We're going to have, um, let's see what I do. Oh, I think what I did here is I, I saw that they were all divisible by 8, so I, or even a negative 8, so just to make them a little bit smaller. So if I divide everybody by a negative 8, uh, I get negative, positive y minus 2 equals 144 divided by 8 was negative 18, and then plus 24. Nope. Divide that by 8. Negative 8 as well. 3. There you have it. And so now when I kick that 18 over, it's a little bit easier to add. That's plus 16 equals 3 times the square root of x squared minus y squared. So now that square root is isolated, and so we'll square both sides again. So when I square this side, multiply it by itself, I get y squared plus 32y plus 256, and then the 3 gets squared, that's 9, and then times x squared minus y squared. And so now, if I kind of kick everything over to this side, I'll have 256, and then I'll have 9x squared, and then I'll have minus 9y squared, uh, minus another y squared, Sorry, that should be plus. That plus? <laughs> yeah, somehow that mutated. Uh, it was supposed to be x squared plus y squared, and when I wrote it over here, uh, x squared plus y squared plus plus plus. Sorry about that. And so that should be plus. And so now I have this is 9x squared plus 9y squared. And when the y squared comes over, that'll be plus 8y 
squared, sorry, or yeah, it was 8y squared, and then minus 32y. <laughs> Getting there. And so now we just want to, since we kind of recognize that it was supposed to be an ellipse, let's put it in a nice ellipse form. So we have 9x squared plus 8 times y squared minus 4y. We'll complete the square here. So half of 4 is 2, squared is 4. But I can't just add a 4, or really I added 32. 8 times 4 is 32. So I'll add 32 to this side. And so I'm getting 288 equals 9x squared plus 8 times. And then the whole reason I added this 4 was because y squared minus 4y plus 4 is a perfect square. That's y minus 2 squared. And so we're almost there. For a, a standard form of an ellipse, this should be a 1. So I'm going to divide everybody by 288. And then I'll get the 1 equals, and then... 9 over 288 simplifies to um, 1 over 32, and then uh, 8 over uh, 288 simplifies to 36. And so that's our standard form of an ellipse. We can see that this is an ellipse. Its center is 0, 2, and uh, it's opening up, uh, like uh, up and down the square root of 36, uh, and uh, well, which is 6, and then right and left uh, the square root of 32, which is a little bit less than 6, a little bit more than 5, right? So somewhere between the square root of 25 and the square root of 36, so I don't know, 5.8 or something. So we can see that. Uh, ellipse has a center 0, 2. You don't have to graph it. The, their four-point response didn't have a graph, but uh, we could do it if we wanted. 0, 2, and then um, up and down 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. It extends up there. And then right and left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a little bit more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A little bit more. So it's this kind of fat ellipse. But the idea is that every single point on this ellipse, if I add that distance plus that plus that distance, I get 12. If I add that distance plus that distance, I get 12. So it's this string that's 12 long that's generating that ellipse. But, yep. So just translate, keep squaring to get it in that lovely ellipse standard form.